What's up YouTube? It's Marie. Um, today I'm going to do a tutorial on this look. Um, this is a blue um, purple cut crease. And these purples uh, that I'm using are um, purples that are in the stacked one um, spring collection from Meg. So I just wanted to do, um, you know, some different looks that you guys can do if y'all did go out and purchase those colors. Um, so um, I don't want to keep you guys waiting. If you like, stay tuned. Bye. Right. So I primed my eye with uh, Painterly by Mac, which is a paint pot, and I'm gonna go in with Aquadisiac by Mac, and I'm just gonna pat that all over my uh, lid. It's a really pretty blue color. You can also uh, use Winkle, I think that is by Mac. Now I'm gonna go in with Electric Eel. I'm going to apply that right on top of and extending a little outward so that it will fade from the lighter blue to the darker blue. And again I'm just patting uh, so that I can get really good color payoff. A lot of times when you um, do it the other way it uh, you'll end up having to put on more and more makeup more and more color again I mean now I'm going in with fresh water by Mac and I'm uh, using a small uh, eyeshadow brush by Sonia Kashuk and I'm gonna go with the other side of that brush and pick up from the sea and sky mineralize the darker blue I love that color um, I like to do a smoky blue with that color. So pretty. You can also wet your brush with the mineralize and stick it right in there to get more color and it doesn't uh, mess up your mineralized shadows. Don't try that with your others though. Now I'm going to take an angled brush and I'm going to go in with Shadowy Lady which is a very deep uh, purple. And I'm using my uh, angle brush that I use for my brows mostly. And I'm going to cut the crease with that color. You can also take a uh, black and cut the crease with it. And then go right on top of the black with the purple. If you don't have a purple of this, um, this deep. And it's very important at this point to really... Uh, if you have to hold your eyes stretchy, you want a nice line, especially when you uh, extend into your inner uh, corner. You want to make sure that that line is very fine. And then just take uh, the brush and pull that color up. Now I'm going to go in with the deep purple that is in stacked one. And I'm using a uh, small uh, concealer brush. And I'm patting that on top of the purple. Not on top of that line, but on top of the purple. The deep purple. That color is so pretty, y'all. I know a lot of people are kind of, you know, they don't really know what to do with pigments. But pigments are very easy to use. You're going to get fallout. But that's what you have wipes for. Now I'm going to take my uh, fluffy blending brush, my 217 by MAC, and I'm going to go in with that pink, the pink that's, it's kind of a pink purple color that's also in stacked one. And I'm going to blend that right over the line from that purple. And then I'm going to take that brush and I'm going to blend it all the way up underneath my uh, brow. Those colors that are in those stack, those crushed metal pigments, they are so pretty. They reflect light so beautifully. They're just really pretty. Now I'm going to go in with the lightest purple that's in the crushed metal. And I'm going to take that and go right under my brow bone. I'm going to use that as my highlight. 
and really take your time and just blend and I'm using a soft blending brush by Sonia Kashuk you can also use the one that's by MAC but you need something that's soft because you don't want to uh, take off a lot of color now as you can see I'm just going in with a wipe and cleaning up my edges making sure everything is nice and neat that's it so this is the final look guys um yeah I just wanted to give you guys you know uh another way that you can wear uh, those colors also if you have similar colors uh, as I stated uh, before in my vids if you have similar colors go ahead and try those um, everybody may not have the same thing but you can definitely use uh, the same um, uh, what am I trying to say pattern I'm tired. Um, the same procedure you know, just whatever color you have. So, um, yeah, this is uh, the final look again. Um, on my face, uh, I have, um, I'm wearing Studio Tech, uh, which is a cream to powder foundation. Um, I normally don't like, I don't like the dewy look. I'm not into the, you know, dewy kind of look I like a matte matte finish um but I actually like the tech I don't know um I don't know if y'all can tell the difference I can because I look at myself all the time so I can see the difference but um yeah y'all let me know what y'all think about this studio tech I might you know start rocking that it's a little bit more softer so um yeah um I'm gonna get all of you guys request out I have gotten your request and I will be working on those vids. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.